In this video, I am going to walk you through how to create the pair cam as part of the PLTW IED curriculum um, uh, getting towards the Autonoma project. Now, in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to set a nominal diameter of the cam. So this could be anything. Like we're going to say we're going to scale everything and say D is equal to 0.5 inches or D is equal to 2 inches. You can pick what that value is. For this video, I'm going to use D is equal to 2 inches. And I'll show you how to set the parameter within Inventor and then build the cam based off of that parameter. So in Inventor, um, you could pick your proper uh, projects file uh, and start a new part. So click part screen will pop up and load up and what you're going to do is you're just going to start a new sketch All right? and I am going to and most people like to start things on the XY plane so I clicked start a new sketch in the top left hand corner and now I'm going to select my XY plane you can use the middle mouse button so you can hold down on the middle mouse button to drag around in the window a little bit here I'm going to center this little point and I am first going to start by creating the small little uh, center hole here. It says that its diameter is 3 16 of an inch. That zero with a line through it is means diameter and it's 3 16. So I'm going to start with that. So back to inventor here. I'm going to click the circle tool and I'm going to select, you can mouse over the little dot there and it turns green. And this allows me that I left click and now I can start setting this circle. So I can stretch this out and you know we could do what 3 divided by 16 is but that's not very easy inventor likes to make things easy for us so what we want is 3 16 of an inch so on my keyboard without having clicked anything i'm still able to change the diameter of this circle i'm just going to type in 3 divided by 16 and hit enter and it will automatically set that diameter now i'm using the mouse wheel to scroll in and out just to zoom in and out here pushing down on the mouse wheel to drag it around and we can see that 3 divided by 16.188 and it measured it in diameter. Awesome. When we take a look back at that cam, we can see that we the rest of our measurements are all based off of this D value. So I told you at the beginning of the video that I'm going to say D is equal to 2 inches. So let me show you how to set that within Inventor. While you're still in the sketch mode, all right, I haven't changed anything. I can go over to this Manage tab. I click Manage, and there's Parameters. I click Parameters, and a window pops up. Now, everything that I start defining is going to be listed in there. And right now, it defined this value, D0, for the model. It's in inches, and it's 3 16 of an inch. And the nominal value is written there. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a numeric value. Down here, the bottom left-hand corner, click Add Numeric. And there's this user parameters. I'm going to let, type the letter D because I'm just going to say D is this value. I want whenever I write D in the software, okay, I'm going to hit tab. And now this equation value is the equation. Now I could write in a fancy equation that includes other parameters, but I'm just going to write the number two. Type in two and I'm going to hit enter. So now whenever I put D into the software, it's automatically going to set that value to 2 inches. All right, so now I'm going to click Done. Now I'm back here in Inventor. And on our cam, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the bottom part of the pair. The bottom part of the pair has a radius R equals 1 half D. So back in Inventor, I'm going to go back to... I'm still in sketch mode, so I'm going to click on the sketch tab. I'm going to click the circle, and I'm going to center that bottom circle again over the top of this smaller circle. So you can see I've got circle selected, and I'm waiting for the little green dot. It means I'm locked on that little point. I left click, and now I can drag out. Now, before you set the value, notice that it's got that dotted line all the way across the circle. That means it is currently measuring the diameter. It's setting it based on diameter. In my drawing, it said R equals 1 half D. R meaning radius. So without having to do any mental math, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build this circle based off of its radius. So while I'm still able to change how this the circle is, okay, let's say you accidentally clicked it, right, and you made a circle. You can always, I hit escape just there to get out of the circle tool. You can always left click an, uh, the, an object, a line, and I can hit the delete key to get rid of it. But back to circle here. All right, I'm going to right click and go down to radius. And now look, see how the dotted line is only measuring out the radius. This means I can set the value for the radius. All right, well, I want the radius of this line to be one half of D. Well, one half of D, one half multiplied into D is D. I've typed in the letter D divided by two, half of D. So you can see, I just, I just started typing D divided by two, I hit enter. And now it's made a large circle here. I'm mouse wheeling out. And I can see that it says fx 1.0. It means there's a function defining this value and the result is 1. Well, that function is d divided by 2 and the result is 1. That's exactly what we want. Back at the cam drawing here, I can see that now I want this top circle of the cam to be half of d, centered half of d up. Well, that's easy. Okay. I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to start a line at the